Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to show you how I create the standing witch with her bubbling magical cauldron out of a few dollar store items and uh, something that you should probably have on hand which is um, a plastic jug. So first we're going to need one of these witch and any empty half gallon container, juice, milk, whatever you guys get that inside your half gallon containers. You're going to need some yarn and a cauldron. Now these Dollar Tree hanging, what are these, goblins? Witches? I don't know what exactly they are. Elves? Um, it looks like a goblin, looks like a witch, it could have been a witch, but a, it's a bald witch. So we're going to uh, do a little um, playing with this particular witch and make it look more like a witch. So for this, you're going to need some craft paint and I'm taking white and highlighting her eyeball itself. I'm also going to use the white on her teeth and uh, you're also going to need a bit of black to add the pupils and to darken uh, like the recesses of her mouth, um, stuff like that. So really simple, just follow the contours of the actual uh, doll itself and go ahead and paint in the eyeballs. You can paint in the teeth and you can leave it just like that if you wish. You can make this as detailed as you would like it to be. But I'm going for a sort of creepy but not too scary look. So I painted my eyeballs white and then I added in the black for the recesses of the mouth. You know, ooh, it's a witch, an ugly old witch. And also I'm going to paint in the eyeballs and I'm doing this all in fast forward for you. It took me about half an hour to complete this entire project from start to finish, allowing time for the paint to dry in between. But um, I, for, for, the length, for the purposes of YouTube, I am speeding this up for you so you can see how it's done. So once we paint in the pupils and um, all our painting that we want to get done, um, we're going to leave this to dry. Now I actually didn't like the very shiny look, plastic look of this particular witch. So what I ended up doing was I took some my same dirty paintbrush, I picked up some white and some black, and I am going to like just rub it over her face in spots just to, you know, get that shiny plastic look off. And to give it a little bit more realism or a little bit more care character is by adding in, you know, just graying up some of that green, that bright plastic green. So that's all I did for painting and then I let that dry. Now while your um, witch is drying, make sure of course that the plastic container, the jar that you're going to be using is clean and dry on the inside. You may want to get some rocks to use as weight and I'll, you'll see that later on but I kind of forgot that in the beginning. Um, but next step is to create hair for a witch and I'm just using yarn, I'm making several loops, the length that I would like the hair to be, um, maybe about eight loops I guess or four loops like eight strands on each side you know you can go all out and make this witch give her a full wig if you wanted to but I'm gonna use the hood uh, the hood of the um, that came with it to cover up so I'm just gonna put glue on the front portion and then add my yarn on now again you can make bangs, you can make this as fancy as you want, you can add gray yarn, all of that stuff, but I just happen to have black yarn nearby and that's what I decided to use. Now once you've uh, glued your loops down, you're going to cut the ends, you know, so they're no longer loops and then you're going to split them apart. Now that's how the yarn gets a little bit more of that hair-like appearance is by splitting it. And of course here you see I'm taking the hood, the existing hood, pulling it back over and I'm going to use hot glue to secure it where I attach the uh, yarn hair. So simple as that and now it's going to take a little bit of time for you to fuss and get each strand of hair separated and I, <laughs> I'm going to play with this for a little while. I don't go all the way to the top, I kind of do it like halfway. I'll just 
pull, grab the yarn, find an end, and it, like it se separates into about three easy strands. You can make it, you know, a little bit more fuzzier and make it go more strands than that if you'd like to have more hair on your witch. So once that is done and your witch looks to your satisfaction, again, you can add red lips. You can do whatever you wish to her to make her more realistic. We are going to take our bottle and we're going to get ready. Oh, and here I'm remembering to add highlights to my eyes. Again, I totally forgot that part in, in the beginning. So now when you turn this dollar store witch thing over, it's just like two arms on a plastic thing and we're gonna attach it to the bottle. Now my bottle is clear and I decided because of that gauze thing I needed some sort of coverage because I'm using this indoors and I didn't really want to see the bottle so I grab a piece of craft felt in purple and you can use whatever color and you can completely cover your bottle but I'm just gonna cover it as much as the felt that I have <laughs> allows it to be covered so I'm just wrapping that around so that the front of my witch has a little bit more um, depth and doesn't you know look like she's in a see-through bottle <laughs> so once you do that it's pretty simple to go ahead now and we're gonna use um, the hot glue to attach it to the cap of the bottle now I leave everything on here but you can do it separately if you wish but I did it this way so I can figure out my placement and I wanted to be sure and I would recommend maybe using some E6000 along with your hot glue to make sure that it, this sticks really well to the cap of your bottle now if you wanted and you didn't have the bottle uh, cap itself anymore you could attach it to the bottle itself but I wanted to um, leave the bottle because I have this idea and I didn't have any lights that fit but I was thinking of putting some lights also in the bottle to give it an extra glow but I'm using here some rocks just to fill it in and give it some weight so that the witch itself could stand on her own regardless of what I put in her cauldron she'll have some weight now the two arms of this hanging thing that the Dollar Tree sends, sells it doesn't have hands it's just two wires and I use my pliers to open it and then squeeze it around the ends of the cauldron also uh, from the Dollar Tree and you can decorate this any how you would like whatever you want to put inside eyeballs and skeletons and I don't know what whatever you want to put inside of your cauldron you could also use this obviously as a candy dish as a standing candy dish you know on a desk or on near an entry like if you're in an office you can have um, a bowl full of candy so people who walk by can grab some candy but I'm gonna add into my cauldron um, these Dollar Tree uh, purple lights and some uh, fiber fill, the polyfill moss. So the purple lights I'm putting just in the bottom of um, my cauldron and you guys can decide where you, if you wanted this, the, the, the battery pack to be on the outside, the inside completely up to you. And then put um, polyfill to hide your wiring so it kind of glows, you know, in and out of the um, polyfill and then I just had some orange spiders on hand those little rings and I attached the I just dropped them in there you can put bats you can put skeletons you can put snakes you can put like I said anything you wanted to into your cauldron but I'm going for this look so that's what I'm doing here and that's pretty much it you guys so I hope you like my Dollar Tree DIY please do leave me a comment let me know what you think and of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that like button I'll be back with more Dollar Tree DIYs for Halloween for you real soon have a wonderful day everyone bye
Thank you.